Hi everybody, this is Rhett. Welcome to Statistics. In this video, we'll be discussing ordered pairs. First, let's talk about graphing numbers on a real number line. A real number line is a line that goes on and on and on from negative infinity to infinity. Let's consider the line on the screen to be a real number line. We'll put zero in the middle to give it some perspective maybe add some whole numbers to add scale and you can add the negative numbers on the other side. Now we should be able to find any real number on this number line. For example the number 2, well that's right there. What about negative 1? Sure we can find that too, it's over here. What about pi? Not that pi, but this pi. That's approximately 3.14, and that would belong over here. And lastly, negative 2.6666, and that goes on and on forever. I'm just going to put that over here, somewhere between negative 2 and negative 3. So that's how we graph numbers on the real number line. There's nothing that says that we have to draw the real number line as a horizontal line. We could also draw that as a vertical line. We could put zero in the middle and the positive numbers going up and the negative numbers going down. You might think of this like elevation where positive is above sea level and negative is below sea level. So let's say that we start with a horizontal real number line. We'll call that an x-axis and cross that with a vertical real number line. We'll call that a y-axis. We'll end up with a grid system and we call that the coordinate plane. Points on the plane may be defined by a pair of coordinates. The x-coordinate is a point on the horizontal real number line, or x-axis. The y-coordinate is a point on the vertical real number line, or y-axis. The x-coordinate is always the first number in the pair, and the y-coordinate is always the second number in the pair. Let's look at an example. How can we find the ordered pair coordinates for this point? Well, we'll always start at the origin. That's the point with coordinates 0, 0, where the x-axis and the y-axis cross. From this point, I need to move over to the right, 5 units, and then up by 2 units. This point has the ordered pair coordinates 5, 2. It's five units to the right and two units up. Let's look at another example. See if you can figure out the ordered pair coordinates for this point. Again, we're going to start at the origin. From the origin along the horizontal axis, I need to move to the left, two units, since I'm moving to the left, I'll call that negative 2. It's to the left of 0. From here, I need to move down another 2 units. I'm moving down, so I also consider that to be negative. So this is negative 2. This point has coordinates negative 2, negative 2. And what about this point? Again, we're going to start at the origin. Do we need to move to the left or to the right? No. So the x-coordinate is 0. We're neither to the left nor to the right. We simply need to move up, in this case, by 6 units. So this point has the coordinates 0, 6.
Let's try this in reverse. This time, we'll start with an ordered pair and find the point in the coordinate plane. Consider the ordered pair 4, negative 1. I'm starting at the origin. The x-coordinate is 4, so I'll move to the right 4 units. The y-coordinate is negative 1, so from there I'll move down 1 unit. And here's where the point 4, negative 1 lies. What about negative 5, 0? I'm going to start at the origin. The x-coordinate is negative 5, so I'll move to the left on the x-axis until I find negative 5. Here we go. The y-coordinate is 0, so I neither go up nor down. The point lives on the x-axis. And here we go. This is the point negative 5, 0. So there you have it, a little review on ordered pairs. We looked at the x-coordinate, y-coordinates, the coordinate plane, the x-axis, the y-axis, and the origin. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Until next time, stay real and be rational.